Hi, my name is Dr. Andrea Ormonde. And I'm Dr. Alexandra Anderson. And we run Alta Health and Performance. We're here today with Running Warehouse to talk about the most underrated joint in a runner's body. Let's get to it. Okay, so there's actually two underrated joints in the runner's body, and it should be no surprise that they're both found in the foot. The first one is the metatarsophalangeal joint, also known as your big toe joint. The second one is a metatarsocuneiform joint, also known as the first ray. So here I have my skeleton model of the foot. This is the leg bone. Here's your heel back here, your toes up here. Now here is your main big toe joint right here. And here is your first ray joint right here. So why are these two joints so crucial? Well, we need to have adequate dorsiflexion at the great toe in order to get over our foot and push off for our next step. And why is the first ray so important? Because it controls our ability to dorsiflex at the big toe. So I'm gonna hand it over to Andrea and she's gonna show us some exercises that we can do to support these two joints. So as Alexandra said, Big toe dorsiflexion is crucial for a runner. So we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate that here. Sometimes when we don't have enough dorsiflexion in our big toe, it is because we lack dorsiflexion at the ankle here, or because we lack strength through the muscles of our arch. So our first exercise is going to teach you how to engage through your arch. We call it short foot. So remembering back to tripod, where we have the three points of balance through our foot, we want to make sure that, once again, our body weight is equally distributed through those three points. Now what we want to do is take those first two points and slide them back towards the heel. Good. You should feel your arch engage here. Another way to look at it is if you were trying to pull the top of your foot up to the ceiling creating more of a tint through your arch. Our second exercise will be to teach you how to properly dorsiflex through this ankle here. Okay. So Alexandra is gonna get into a half kneeling position. Good, 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 perfect. From here, she's gonna go ahead and grab her short foot again, right? So three points, to, uh, top two points pulling back to that back point, good. She's gonna take her knee over the second toe here. Good. Make sure you don't have any lateral sway of your hip. You wanna make sure that your hip and your knee and your toe are aligned. Good. After that, you're going to make the stretch active. So you're going to pull your toes up towards your knee here. Really feel an engagement. Stay active for the full 10 to 15 seconds here. You should feel this burning here. Once 10 to 15 seconds has passed, go ahead and relax the toes and pull the knee further over that second toe. Make sure that the heel stays on the ground. A common cheat that we see is lateral sway of the hip. So as the knee will track forward, people have a tendency to sway that hip to the side here, making it seem as though you have more dorsiflexion here when in fact you do not. So, most importantly, make sure to keep, keep hip, knee, and toe all in the same line. Remember, this is about keeping really good function at the big toe joint and the first ray joint. This is a really complicated mechanism, so to fully understand the nitty gritty details of it, check out our article below.